Hi beautiful people, it's the Vibe Queen Omobo Laval and you're tuning to Afrobeat Global. Yes guys, it is the Entertainment Recap Show. And guys, of course you know what I do on the E-Recap Show, I bring to you interesting gist, as it is hot. Guys, so many things have happened lately and I just thought of it like, wait, I have to serve my people this gist hot hot. First off, I'm going to be talking about Asha Care because I know that I always mention the fact that ladies are making us proud, especially black ladies. So now, today guys, let's actually talk about the men making us proud. Now, over the weekend, the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards took place in Accra at the International Accra International Conference Center. Now, if you followed these particular award nominations, you know that for the best African musician, best African um, artist, well, we had a nomination category. We had Keys Daniel, we had Iris Star, we had The Therapist, we had Ashake, we had Olua Burner, Burner Boy. But guess what, guys? I mean, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere on social media has been burning because people are like wait what ashake actually won burner boy hey you guys is the fact that people are even saying he won burner boy so what do you think about ira star you people are underrating my star girl you are underrating the savvy president but guys actually i am so proud of ashake to see that these kind of people were put in a category and he emerged winner so congratulations to ashake well there were a whole lot of others that were nominated and also got the award for the different categories that they were nominated for and i mean the vodafone um Ghanaian music award was actually a success and definitely it was hosted again by bella mundi oh my gosh i was so excited because i mean it's been a while like this lady has been hosting this event back to back and she always delivers now by the way remember that this is actually the 24th award ceremony the 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Award Ceremony. Oh, um, well done to Ghanaians and well done to the organizers. Okay, guys, over the weekend too, another interesting thing happened. Now, you know that um, there was the coronation ceremony of King Charles III, you know, in London. And guess what, guys? I mean, of course, our own Tiwa Savage, the African bad girl, was actually listed to perform alongside so many other notable people. Hey, <laughs> guys, do you know the gist that is even shocking me the most? Is the fact that do you know that they actually invited some other popular musicians, but they actually turned down this invite too. Hey, invites where they shock me, where they look, say, oh, Motiwa is making waves and other people that were invited. Like, I feel like it's a great privilege. But guess what? Do you actually know that people like Ed Sheeran and some other people actually declined this invite? Hey, oh, Mo. Anyway, guys, trust our own African bad girl. She actually represented Africa as a whole as she performed Keys to the Kingdom. Now, this performance was really beautiful. I loved her entrance. I loved her dress. Oh my gosh. Tiwa actually wore like a green dress. In my mind though, me, I was like, are you sure baby girl is not representing Nigeria? Like, I am Nigerian and I am proud. Guys, now, the interesting part. Everybody has been hailing Tiwa Savage, but you know what they say now, that by force, by force, you must get haters. People, everybody cannot love you. And that is the situation here. Now, so many people have actually been calling Tiwa Savage out for different reasons. Though. Some people are like, wait, Tiwa Savage, have you forgotten that these whites are actually the people that colonized Nigerians, like the colonized Africans. And you are now singing, bow to the moon and bow to the sun in front of these people. What is wrong with you? Why did you choose that kind of song? And some people are actually criticizing that because they are like, wait, I thought Tiwa Savage was actually criticizing Beyonce when she actually dropped this album and by the way this album was dedicated to blacks why is she singing it to white and then she criticized the um, Beyonce for singing this particular song because she sang it at a period where the NSAS um, incident was happening in Nigeria so they were like why is she now taking this particular song and why is she singing it ah, Una blood to the hearts. 
No na calm down. Ah ah. At least see your fellow African doing something and making Africa proud and beautiful. Because there was a particular video I saw at the end of the performance by Tiwa Savage. Like there were two white people that were actually whispering to each other, and they were wowed. Like I didn't hear them more, right? But the expression on their faces it just showed that they really loved the performance, and I mean they were so happy. Okay, guys, moving away from that. Well, I don't know what this new trend with um, musicians performing on stage and going the extra way is. Really, it's becoming a trend and I'm getting really tired. So previously, one time, I think last week, there was this um, video I saw of the bunch performing and, you know, a married the bunch. Like a married the bunch. The bunch was performing, of course. I know people will say he's a performer. You know, he was performing and then the way he was actually jacking a girl on stage. <laughs> Or what now? Ha. I don't understand though. Even in the comment section, people were like, Is the band not supposed to be married? Well, he is married. I'm confirming that. Well, away from that, Ruga too. At least we can even understand Ruga. So Ruga has this new trend too. Whenever he's performing on stage, he will just be rocking babes and be doing ah. Oh, more it's really extreme more. and then some people will just get somebody off you know the audience and then start doing all sort of sexual activities and all oh my I thought I had seen it all auntie Peter um, one of um, the P square um, guys the P, P square uh, Peter now you know there's rude boy and there is Peter sometimes I used to feel like it is rude boy that should be doing this thing because of his name but sometimes Peter used to fall my hand so beautiful people that's how Peter was actually performing and this guy actually just dragged you know a girl from the audience he didn't actually drag her he went there to where the audience the um, audience were and he actually kissed her <laughs> have been saying well the girl self would like him because she was actually hailing yeah i can be a fan of an artist and be singing the song but that doesn't mean you should come and kiss me that's actually sexual harassment what if my boyfriend is watching or what if she's married i mean and some other people were saying whether she likes it or not if it happened in the u.s or somewhere in a white man's country that you definitely be filed for sexual harassment i mean but whatever the case is i feel like that's extreme and guess what now you know this where they would all, always come out to defend so when people called him out and they were like you shouldn't have done this this is not really proper that this is not even the first time you are doing it what's the meaning of this and he goes eh if you don't like it <sighs> Really? Mm. Well, me, I can't really tell you from the girl's expression because the video was short. I felt like she was just shocked. But the, the, the blog where I actually even saw this, the person was like, I'm sure so many other girls, you know, amongst the audience were wishing they were that lady. I mean, you guys itemize ladies these days. So you actually feel like ladies are so cheap and they really accept everything, even if she is angry. Of course, if she didn't even like it, I mean, what do you expect her to do? I'm sure the shock. Hmm. I just hope say Peter never goes scatter person in relationship or marriage. Because if I am the boyfriend, if I was a guy and I am the boyfriend and I see that, I really don't know what will be going through my head. And people in the comment section were like, is this not Lola's husband? Yes. He is. I'm confirming again. So I really don't know what happened. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Entertainment Recap with the Vibe Queen. If you did, please like, comment, um, share with your friends. And please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Afrobeat Global. You can follow us on our social media platforms at Afrobeat Global. And yes, you can follow the Vibe Queen on Instagram at omobolandi at underscore. And on other platforms, it's omobolaval. I remain the Vibe Queen. And you know what I always say. Stay safe. I love you. Goodbye.